Yo, welcome back to the vlog. I just spent like 30 minutes fixing my memory card because the little lock tab, I pushed it too hard and I broke it. And uh, it wouldn't let me film on the memory card. So I had to fix it. <laughs> Anyways, uh, I kind of got ahead of myself and I'm opening up the trunk right now. Installed the subwoofer. Um, my dog actually ended up passing away yesterday and to help me get my mind off of it I uh, decided to just like dive into the whole speaker stuff but I'll, I'll, I'll show you guys so you can see I wish I could have shown you like me installing and stuff but again like I said I was not in the right headspace and stuff and I just needed something to keep my time uh, this box I got it off um, eBay high sound phonics something like that they make custom boxes for the S2K, you can see it fits pretty much perfectly flush. Down in here was the uh, the spare tire kit. I have a Progressive and AAA, so like I don't really care about how not having a spare tire. And then back here, where the in the wheel well where the tire would go, I still need to organize it a little bit. But there's my amp. Um, it's not on metal; it's on sound deadening material, so don't freak out. And it's it's uh bolted down there good uh, all that wiring I'm gonna tidy up although I mean I really guess I don't really have to because uh let's see if I can get in there yeah I, I don't really have to because uh it's, you don't see it the wheel well covers it up pretty good or the wheel cover whatever you want to call this so yeah put these back in I love these tabs these are the fucking best tabs ever just like click click So yeah, um, it sounds really good. Uh, I also went ahead and did some like foam tape down here so that it uh, eliminates any trunk rattling. And then one more thing I did was uh, there's one piece of plastic trim that was rattling so much and I couldn't fix it. And it's back here. I don't know if you, let me see if I can show you. Uh, if you see right there, it's one plastic trim that goes along the whole back end. You, uh, as you can see, it's very hard to see. If you, uh, the only way you'll see it is if you're looking for it, but when the top's down, you can't see it. When the top's up, you'd have to be searching for it. What I'm doing today, though, is uh, taking out the center console armrest thingy, Bob, and I'm replacing, or not replacing, but I'm re, I'm gonna put some new foam and uh, change the material to a Alcantara soft uh, leather because this thing is fucking hard as a rock and it hurts my arm and these little perforated leather thing like in, it stabs into my elbow and it's really really annoying so let's get this thing off first thing you gotta do is unscrew the knob again like before this thing is really easy it's just a uh, couple tabs all around the perimeter of it. Just be very careful. Go slow. There we go. That's off, that's off, that's off. Let me unplug that so that it can come on more slow. And we're just gonna have to These little tabs out. Jesus. Alright. Cool. So that's out. I also got a boot coming in. I don't know when it's going to be here, but I got a boot coming in for that. Let's uh, take this inside so it's not fucking hot as shit. It's too hot outside. Naples, you know, Florida. Alright, now that I have the nicest set up here, it uh, looks like I got to go get a Phillips head. I spilled water on my seat and I just sat down in it. Please 
one. Two. Alright, so it looks like it's just those four screws. Oh, perfect. So, on the AP1s versus the AP2s, toss that on a bit. Um, the difference that I know of is that this is uh, held in with some other plastic tabs that you actually have to sort of break. Not break, but uh, I found the best way to do it is to get like a soldering iron and use it to like melt the plastic to, to get it out. And then what you do is you just plastic weld it back, basically back together. Got the armrest here. What I'm gonna do is just peel off this really brittle, really old, I guess not old, old, 13 years old if they never replaced it, and I'm guessing they haven't because it's so brittle. But it's, it comes off pretty easily. Uh, granted, um, you could also just do foam right over it, but um, just so that I have space to wrap around and everything, I'm just gonna take it all off and leave it one clean go. Some parts are a little tricky. There we go. Well, that's not too bad. It's fucking leaving a fucking mess. Now I'm thinking maybe I should have left it on because it's so fucking, it's leaving little bits of black, freaking bits of leather everywhere. It's gross. Okay. I'm gonna go dust this off outside real quick. Get this all on here into the trash. Yeah, they're supposed to be foam in between that layer and the plastic either the foam all degraded which I mean is a real plausibility or someone replaced it and decided they didn't want to do foam which is nuts because like I said it, it hurts my elbow like I have I'm not so nitpicky or anything with things but like that that's one of the things that like driving I have, yeah. if I lay my arm on there I need to be, it needs to be comfortable. So, first of all, I'm gonna put this down so that I don't get glue on anything that's mine because this is my personal desk. Okay, so. I'm gonna take the foam. All right, put it right on here. Actually, put it like this so that I can get the a good sizing on it. All right, so I'm gonna put the foam here. I'm gonna cut a little bit around it just so that I got a a uh, so and so shape. Okay. All right. All right. Obviously this is bigger than the material itself so that I can put it on and then trim the excess around it, you know. All right, so what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna glue, spray the glue on here. And then lay it on. Don't be afraid to really get a lot of glue in there. You want it to hold, so. And the glue's not gonna go through the foam. So just lay it on. Curl it around. Now for this part, I bought 
At least I'm gonna see if this works. Take these. I'm trying not to get glue all over my fucking hands. Take these little clips. We're going to clip them. If they can even hold this much foam, man. If they can, I'm gonna be upset. Okay, got it. Mm, there's glue on my hands now. In case you didn't know, I'm not a professional. I don't know if you can tell. This is hella DIY. Okay, that size there. Let me add one more for good measure right in the middle there. That should definitely hold. This sign. Again, this is not going to be the full size. Once it's all held in place, I'll start trimming it down so that it contours like well to the uh, shape of the armrest. All right. So those two. Let's stick it to that. Okay. And this part I am going to trim right now so that I can get the clips on there because that is a lot of foam to have to deal with. So, I also wanted to put something very heavy on the top here. This is going to be a spoiler alert, a spoiler alert for my next video, but this is one of my new coilovers. Should be heavy enough to put some weight on the foam so that it could hold down and glue. So uh, I'm leave it here for a little bit, maybe about an hour, and then I'll come back and I'll trim and I'll do all the stuff, okay? All right, so we're back right here. Let it dry for like 10, 15 minutes. I'm gonna take all the clips off, see uh, how it ends up sticking, and then I'm gonna trim around it. So let's get to it. The stuff says it's supposed to work pretty fast. So 10, 15 minutes should be okay. So then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna basically trace it out. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm basically trace it out and cut the whole excess of it so that I can wrap around this foam. Question is, how much do I want to? And this is really gonna be more your like own kind of customizing it, getting it to the right amount, because uh. It's a curved surface, so. See, like that, that's, and it can be jagged, it can be, it, it, the wrap is gonna wrap around it and it's gonna make it uniform, so that's okay. It, like, it can be pointy on ends and stuff like that, that's not, that's not a big deal. The big issue is to make sure that it is pretty much flat on that. I don't even know what I'm talking about at this point anymore. I'm really just winging this, I've never done this before. And I'm not trying to pretend like I have. <laughs> okay. So next is, here's the material I'm going to be wrapping it in. It's like an Alcantara, if that's what you want to call it. I don't know what it's called. But it's just a soft leather, like a suede leather. Just make sure I got enough. Okay, yeah, cool. So we're going to cut over here. And this one, in, in the same thing with the other thing, uh, if you have a lot of excess, it's better to have more than less to work with, because if you fuck up, you can cut and fix. If you have too little, you're not fixing anything. Okay. All right, so I want to smooth it out. This right here. I'm gonna cut off a lot of the excess here. And basically, what I'm gonna do is I have some Gorilla Glue, and I'm gonna start on one end, wrap it around, clip them in, and then use that as a guide to basically do the other side. So you don't want it to be. 
um, too, too stretched. But you do want it to stretch a little bit so it doesn't um, wrinkle on you or anything like that. Again, never done this before. Fuck, it could do a terrible job. I could do an awesome job. We'll see. Either way, it's going to be comfortable. I'm gonna let this side dry so that I got a, I got a good firm hold and then I'm gonna do the other side so I'll be back in a sec all right so it's fairly dry um, uh, my idea is to now have basically the clips right here Again, gonna let it dry for a little bit, and then uh, once it's all dry, I'll do the other sides. While that's drying, I wanna give you guys a sneak peek. So I got these uh, Buddy Club coilovers from a friend. Uh, they only got a couple miles on them, so I got a pretty good deal. Um, here's that plastic panel I was telling you from the speaker that I took off. And there's my new front lip that I'm gonna go get uh, the front lip the uh, and the side view mirrors, I got a buddy that's going to go paint them for me. Because I would paint them, but like I'm not that great of a painter. So I was like, I don't want to go cheap shitty on the S2K. So he's going to paint them for me, get them professionally done. And yeah, so back to the armrest. Uh, I'm going to start putting it back together once it's done drying. So give me one second. All right, so it's been drying for a little bit. Um, I'm not going to take the clips off just yet, but I am going to trim the excess right here just enough so that I have the ability to fold it over well and stretch it out. I think I might have just fucked up. We'll find out in a second. <laughs> Please, Lord. Okay, no, we're good. Uh, that's just enough to where I don't have to worry about it too much. Um, let's get started. Let us stay here for a long time. Um, I'm actually go. I have to go to uh, Buddy's house. We're doing the Bunch of Dummies podcast. Ignore the mess in the background there. Uh, if you haven't watched the podcast, if you're into geeky gaming stuff, go ahead and do so. It's it's a good. Uh, it's an hour, but just do it while you're doing some other stuff. Give it a listen. We uh, we talk about a lot of stuff that people are interested in, uh, and if you like it, you know. Subscribe, comment, give us a thumbs up. Uh, also mention that you came from my channel, because then I can give them shit. Uh, today we're doing, what are we doing? I don't know what we're doing today. Oh, Shazam, I think we're talking about Shazam, the movie. And we're doing uh, the first ever Bunch of Dummies beatdown, which is Fernando going online on uh, Super Smash Bros whooping some ass while me and Alex commentate. So again, that, those, that'll be a shorter video, and I'm sure you'll enjoy it. It's gonna be really comical. We'll see if Fernando's got what it takes. So I'm gonna head over to his house, and when I get back, this will be all nice and dry, and I can finish tucking everything in, put it on dry, and then we'll install it. So I'll see you in a minute. Yo, I'm back. Uh, podcast went awesome. Had a good time, a couple hours have passed. Uh, the glue is definitely dry now. So I'm going to take off the clips, I'm going to finish both of the sides, let that sit for an hour or two, and then we're going to install it back in the car. Hopefully it looks good, all right? As you can see, the glue is dry. So off with these clips. Oh my God, did the clip glue on? Oh my God, I fucked this up. Oh no. Yo, I'm not going to lie to you guys, I fucking glued it. It fucked up. Oh, jeez. If they are like this, I am going to be so sad. Oh, they all got like that. Fuck, man. So, uh, fucked that up. 
uh, I decided to uh, go do some other stuff and while I was doing that I figured out a different method and basically when you put the clip on I just put a little piece of cardboard in between the clip on the bottom part you wouldn't be able to see it the cardboard glued to the cloth but the clip did not and now it's all good uh, I'm gonna go show you honestly it came out kind of jank but is a thousand times more comfortable so I'm gonna actually go get a different material like uh, Alcantara leather kind of material if that's how you pronounce it and I'm going to uh, use that and do it very very slowly and crease it where it needs to crease so it looks really really good again I it's not that big a deal it looks better than the other one did and it's a thousand times more comfortable my arm my or my elbow isn't hurting like the other one was causing it to so I'll go show you real quick um yeah uh you know you live you learn I fucked up I didn't realize that like the glue would be able to seep through that cloth very easily uh but anyways yeah I didn't record the me doing it again because I felt like that would just be uh a lot of re-instruction so like follow everything I did up to where the clip was if you're doing this if you're using Alcantara leather the it what the glue won't seep through it's a leather fabric I was using just a regular fabric that you know glue could seep through I didn't really think about it so yeah if you do Alcantara leather if you do any kind of leather it's it's there's nothing that can go through so it's pretty much water protectant uh, but yeah, let's go check it out and um, see what you think. Let me turn my flashlight on here. First of all, I got this Sirikawa, which is badass. But anyways, that's what it looks like. As you can see, it's not the nicest looking. <laughs> it's super jank. But it is... Let me see if I can super plush and oh so comfortable and again I am gonna redo it this weekend I'm gonna go grab the the real good uh, vinyl or leather Alcantara or whatever it's called I'm gonna redo it and take my time and put a different foam maybe I don't know but yeah it's a real simple little thing that like I fucked up because I'm an idiot but it makes a world of difference now when I drive because it's actually comfortable and I thought it was gonna interfere with this but it does not so it all came out really really good that being said i'm gonna leave the vlog out right here uh don't forget to like comment subscribe call me an idiot tell me how you could do much better because you probably can because i am a moron <laughs> anyways have a good night see you guys in the next one